the dragon spawn come. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's. Um, yeah. That was. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> You'll know, you know the dragon spawn come. So, um, up to Hyratka. Uh, it is. Yeah. Up to Hyratka. The 7,000 steps. Um, once again. You'll know, you'll know the dragon spawn come. I'm totally sober. No, 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 don't wait. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to meet some uh, pilgrims. And wolfless on the way. Ooh, ouch, that was loud. For the darkness has ended and the dragon spun come. I hope my neighbor doesn't mind. <laughs> I hope she doesn't sleep yet. No, it's... Oh, cool. Um... <laughs> um... No, it's half past 8 p.m. here. Uh, so I, I I don't think she sleeps. There's a cool friend of foe. Friend. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Yeah, kill some. <laughs> yes. Oh, double Ken? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Uh, I know it. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Uh, yeah. Because there's... Mm -hmm. Mm hmm because they are, like, silent. Uh, no, I'm not going to kill uh, pilgrims. Uh, yeah, they, they, they are great, great, great songs and uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And I heard Wolfus. <laughs> Oh, come on. That's even an ice wolf. Okay. Um, that, there will be, stop it. Yeah, go down. Um, that there will be a new, no, shoot it. Um, uh, a new Dragon Age version coming out. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong, but I thought I heard that or read that, re read it. I'll have to check. Oh, oh, oh shoot. I really should ready my bow all the time. Um, I, I could actually stream, um, 
uh, Dragon Age as well. <laughs> Look, how did I miss that? Yeah. Wow. Right into the eye. Ouch. Ooh, sorry. Um, yeah. Beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. I'm stopping it. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe I'm I'm high on those energy drinks. Lydia, Lydia, I mean, hello, Lydia, Lydia. Where is Lydia? Oh, come on. I have to restore some 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 health. Um, yeah, maybe I'm I'm high on those. Who knows? And maybe it's. Uh, I think it's probably the 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 air. You know, uh, when you climb up mountains. Uh, lack of oxygen. What's that? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah. Back with full health. And once I sheath my bow, I run into wolves again. <laughs> Pretty sure about that. Ah. Once again, beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. Okay. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, oh, that's a pilgrim. Don't shoot pilgrims. <laughs> I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Yeah, pretty Nothing exciting. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Pretty exciting. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Wow, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm Karita. Kind called on Parchunaks who pitted man. Together they taught man to use the voice. Then Dragon War Rage, Dragon against Tongue. And beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. Snowberries. <laughs> Holy moly. Good thing nobody's watching right now, I think, I hope, I don't know. I mean, nobody's talking. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's that ice troll. Yeah. I remember that. Ha, huh, there it is. Ah, it's a press problem. That was quick. Troll fat. Ooh. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> because why not? Salt pie? Salt pie to oh troll. Resist poison. Ouch. Yeah, that's 
because I ate troll fat. Man prevailed shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that the wise too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Okay, that's something you can really meditate on. Hmm. We were. I'm. Sorry, I just can't resist. <laughs> I have a bad feeling that we are running into wolves again. Oh, another. stone uh, tablet to meditate on with roaring tongues the sky children conquer founding the first empire with sword and voice whilst the dragon withdrew from this world cool hey hello there beware beware the dragons one come <laughs> Sorry. Hello oh, there. Um, yeah. I'm climbing up the, the 7,000 steps to High Rathga. Um, meditating on those emblems. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Windkoller began his seven year meditation. Whoa, meditating for seven years? To understand how strong voices could fail. Mm hmm. That, that goes deep. Beware, beware, the dragon's fun come. <laughs> I just did it again. Okay. Jürgen Winkler chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. I mean, it's Jürgen Winkler, I mean. Jürgen the Calm... Now it's now he's called Jürgen the Calm, built his home on the throat of the world. And the throat of the world is probably Hyrathga. I think. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. That's that's a snowstorm. So uh who are you? Don't be shy. I, I, I mean, I look crazed, but, um, yeah, I'm not. Hi, Rathgard is covered, and I'm doing a quick save. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm running into enemies, but... It's worth a quick save. Okay. Oh. Hello there. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. We will see if you truly have the gift. I do. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay. Um. Shout at us and let us taste of your voice. Okay. If you say so. Dragonborn, mm -hmm. it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Okay. 
I am Master Angir. I'm I speak Master for the Greybeards. Angir. I'm, I, I, I really wonder if I'm just looking at myself. So I, I have to probably close some windows. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Just, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, should be good now. I hope so. Uh-huh. Um that's hot. That's really odd. But okay. Yeah, Master Angir. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um, yeah, I'm just answering you some. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Yeah, thank we you will do much. our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That would be most appreciated. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. I love those answers. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. Okay. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Why not? You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay. Uh... We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. Uh, you stand in High Hrothgar, yeah, I know that. the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Another. Here we commune okay. with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Inner and outer, okay. Got it. I think I'm ready to... We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Enough of the talking. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. A shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Oh, I'm pretty when you sure. you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Well. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Whoa. All cool. shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Balance. Combine it with Fus, Fus. force to focus your thumb more sharply. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? The others do not speak. Their voices are too powerful for you to withstand. You learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. Oh, but that. learning a word of power is only the first step. <laughs> you must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, I'm, I'm just um, turning out again because um, it's 
pretty dark. Uh, I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely be better. Okay. Let's head back. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. I did that, As yeah. part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Ah, thank you very much. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the top. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Spawn come. Oh, that sounded. Beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. Look, look. I should like lower my voice. I think. <laughs> Maybe just shut up. Don't sing anymore. Oh, okay, sprinting. Learn a completely new shout. Okay. Master Bari will teach you wood, which means Changing my Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Sure. Master Bori. Bex. Bex. Wolf. Now your turn. That was stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. Made it.
Your quick mastery of the new thume is uh, astonishing. Yep. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, let's be humble. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Oh. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengram. Ustengram. Remain oh true God. to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt the mm. appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Mm. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. Yeah, that so, does not uh, mean that you are ready to understand it. Okay. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That I'm has been sorry. the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Yeah, yeah, I can totally see that. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. Ooh. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. <laughs> Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Okay. Five, our leader, Bartonax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to Oh, him. come on. He was a great war leader of the ancient north, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, mm -hmm. he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. Yep. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. Mm -hmm. yep. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born. Oh. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. Okay. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice, practice of, of the, the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, no, don't. That is commendable. Yeah. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. Okay, point taken. Um, okay. Wind, got you. Um, um, Lydia looks so cool. So, Oh, I'll 
to save aim. Um, Ustengraf, yeah. Well, okay, that was a, a, a pretty quick stream. Uh, but hold on. Uh, I will restart it. Uh, I mean, I will restart streaming. And uh, I guess I'll see you soon. Like, I don't know, 50 minutes or something. Yeah, something like that. Beware, beware, the dragon spawn come. I'll stop it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye for now. See you soon. Goodbye. Have fun. <laughs>